วัสดีค่ะเอาสองถุงขอบคุณมากค่ะJJ Market, and now we've just come to the stadium. And Sam is going to do some gymnastics. I'm not doing gymnastics today. I've got a few injuries that have almost finished recovering. And even though I feel that I can do stuff, I just know, knowing me and the way my body always seems to work, if I do do gymnastics today, I'll end up rehurting myself again. So I just think it's worth just to have one more week off, and then I'll be back on track. With gymnastics and my half marathon training, um, and all will be good. So I am going to find somewhere to sit and wait. And I brought with me my revision. I'm going to do a bit of schoolwork. I might uh, do some artwork as well, design some tattoos. So I've been doing that for some friends, and I might work on some routines. So that is my plan for the next two hours. But I found myself a place to sit. Um, and actually, I'm thinking it's quite a cool area to maybe do a dance video. So uh, check it out. I'm thinking somewhere along here would look really cool. Or like some people up and down on the seating. I think that'd look pretty awesome. But yeah. Pretty cheap to find that. Anyway, I'm going to get on some revision. Re 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 get my words out. I'm going to get on with some revision and do that for about 30 minutes and then well, this has just inspired me to go on with some more dance routines, so I'll be doing that. So we've been in Chiang Mai for almost two years now, uh, me and Sam, and uh, during that time we have been studying Thai. Learn how to speak, how to read, and how to write. Excuse me one second when the plane goes over. Yeah, so the first school that we went to was Pro Language, and they were really good, but they were very just throw you in at the deep end. So the first couple of lessons were really nice, relaxed, intro, blah 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 blah. Um, and then after that, it was like literally right, let's get on with it. And yeah, so it's like for a year, or it's just under a year, and we got through three uh, conversation books, and then we started learning. Uh, Thai text, how to read and write Thai, which um, at first seems like, ah, it's too, too much, too complicated, but actually over time, you just accept it, it is what it is. That's what helped me uh, understand and learn Thai a lot more and quicker, is when I actually came to the conclusion, um, instead of trying to translate it directly into English, just learn that these words, are those words, these, these words, those words, obviously that. Uh, these words mean that, and that is, it is the way it is. As soon as you start thinking, but why? Like, we don't do that, that doesn't make sense, da 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 all this, then you just get nowhere, you get frustrated, and you don't really learn. So this is why I actually like our second school so much more, because they actually teach you um, like a child, basically. So it's literally um, uh, call and response. So they'll say the word, you repeat it. They spell it, you repeat it. Um, and it drills it into your head, which is really good. And it's like a child, you learn a word and it is, that word means this, or that word is that. And um, you spell it like that and that's it. And this is how you put it into a sentence and that is that. No one questions it when you're a child. No one questions, um, it is what it is. So as soon as that enlightenment came into my head, it made Thai so much easier. So the second year we're actually at, uh, a school called Whaling, we're actually coming to the end of our second year um, and we're going to repeat a third year staying with Whaling this time. Um, yeah, and it's really, really good and I really, really enjoy it. I think it's helped though doing the pro language. For me, I do work under pressure quite well, it like kicks me in the butt, I get on with stuff. Um, it was really good for vocab and just the structure in general 
and then Waylon because they con concentrate more on the reading and writing now I'm perfecting my tones um, and just the way it's uh, pronounced better um, yeah so I think the two have complemented each other for me anyway um, I know some people prefer the under pressure style more and some people prefer the more school method so but I think they both have their pros and cons so I'm really really happy with that yeah so I'm just having a little snack now my uh, soy milk well double black soy milk it's got um, I can actually read the ingredients now it's got uh, soybeans a little bit of sugar uh, black rice sesame black sesame it's got some vitamins vitamins added in there um, it's got barley in there as well and malt 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 extract yeah that's one thing about learning to read and write is the ingredients especially being vegan that's helped so much that's opened a whole new world of vegan food in thailand um which is really really good So I've done my dance practice and I've done my revision. I should have done them the other way around, should have done my dance practice first because by the time I did it, lots of people had showed up and they were watching me. Um, I don't have problems performing in front of people, but when I'm practicing and putting ideas together, I'd rather not. Um, oh, here, check this out. Sweet corn, wild growing sweet corn in the middle of an urban jungle. Um, anyway, so now I'm on my way to see Sam, see how he's got on with gymnastics. Yeah, and then we're going to go for lunch. We're going to try out a new place near us, a vegan vegetarian place, so that'd be good. And then we'll just see how the day pans out. It's so quiet today. It's unfair. Normally there's loads of and hardly any space for the adults and now there's space for the adults and I'm not training to take advantage of the floor space and everything but never mind like I said next week next week will be the key
now and I uh, just wanted to quickly show you some of the stuff we bought from the market so we've got some peanuts and some soybeans and some limes which were thrown in for free some egg fruit just to try out because they've just come in back into season so see how they go um, some beetroot radish some tomatoes some pandanus leaves we actually got like a massive bunch of these uh but sam's planted them into the garden so we can actually grow our own uh some chayotes or chayote i don't know how you pronounce these uh c-h-a-y-o-t-e and we got some uh sweet potatoes purple sweet potatoes uh, using our own plastic bags uh, these unfortunately are already packed up but uh, what I tend to do is save the bags and elastic bands and when we go back I give them back to the seller and just some more things we got some pumpkin and two bunches of bananas um, we reduced in the amount that we bought this week because we've got a lot of stuff growing in our own garden already. It kind of goes and flows, so when we've got a lot in the garden we don't buy as much and then when it's a little bit low then we'll buy more at the market. Eventually we won't have to buy as much stuff, so it's good. We've actually got uh, some bananas here. These are apple bananas, these are uh, Cavendish, so Gloy Horn in Thai and Gloy Namwa. Uh, so that's why we're not buying our many bananas. And this is papaya from the garden and this is papaya from our old garden, which our friend is living in now, uh, which they kindly gave me, gave me, gave us uh, before they left to go back home for a bit before they come back. Anyway, yeah, so um, I'm gonna tidy up and then I'm going to make some uh, chocolate milk. I'm gonna make one of my favorite nut milks and that is peanut butter chocolate milk. But first I need to crack some of these open. try out the new vegan vegetarian restaurant by us because uh, we had to do some last minute errands so we ended up just going to another local J vegan restaurant but it's all good hopefully we'll get to try it out next week uh, yeah basically I'm back I think I can say I'm back are you allowed to say you're back if you didn't really start in the first place uh, about a year ago I started this channel uh, vegan vixen uh, with some goals in mind and I, I just don't think I was really in the right place or really ready to do what I wanted to do so it wasn't really going the way I wanted to go so I kind of just fizzled out of it very very quickly. So yeah what have I been doing? Um, I've been living my life. <laughs> I'm here in uh, Thailand in a place called Chiang Mai which is north of Thailand and I'm living with my boyfriend. We've got a place we're really big garden where we're growing lots of things or I should say he's doing a lot of growing at the moment because I've been doing a few other things. We're learning to speak Thai um, which is really good, challenging but really good fun. I'm really enjoying learning new language. I've always enjoyed learning languages and what else we've we been doing? Uh, just hanging out with friends, enjoying ourselves, seeing places, uh, working out, running, cycling, just general oh, gymnastics, dancing, just lots of different things we've been doing. So yeah, going back to uh, the YouTube side of things, 
um, with what I wanted to do with my channels, I've now decided that I'm gonna do two channels, I think. Let me explain first. So initially I wanted to have a YouTube channel and I wanted it to be about dance and dance tutorials and uh, routines and all things like that. Uh, because that is one of my main passions alongside with veganism um, and I'm a dance teacher and gymnastics coach that's what I do and um, that's what I've been doing pretty much most of my life so um, I wanted to take that to online just free tutorials um, and share that sort of information I also wanted to do like general vlogs my my daily life regular life updates a uh, bit of vegan information out there and I just realized it's probably just not really gonna work uh, together so my plan is to split into two channels have one my life veganism and everything and then the second channel to be uh, more my dance side and I might link some videos over from the dance to the other things so people can see uh, what I'm doing with that but yeah I think that is my plan so over this time where I've been missing in action if you want to say I have obtained a lot of footage i have been doing a lot of recording with the intention to do blogs but i just never got around to doing them i still want to share them with the world so uh, i've decided what i'm going to do as well as my current vlogs i will do a couple of flashbacks or more than a couple of flashbacks uh to what i have been doing what we have been doing so yeah that's it really for me um it's getting late as you can see um I'm just gonna uh, chill now and yeah, hopefully you'll get to see more of me. Hopefully my plans will work this time. I feel more ready for it. Um, yeah, I'll catch you soon.